Hello everybody, <clears throat> today I'm not going to do a shaving video, I'm going to show you some stuff that I bought. Um, I was on an auction and trading site called Tadera and I put a bid on a couple of races. I thought I'd, maybe I don't want them because they are old uh, rusty races, but at the same time I thought I could give a low price and see if I win the auction and I won it. Uh, so I got stuck with a couple of uh, races, really bad shape. I think I gave uh, twenty dollars US dollars for now I'm less than I thought nineteen or twenty dollars. Um, so it's not so much money, but still, uh, Swedish racers, Seve uh, Hellestrand, as you can see. This is not so rusty, uh, but the scholar is broken. Uh, my thought was that I could uh, buy a couple of races and restore them and hone them up and use them and change the scholars. So this one is not so bad shape. Uh, I can take out the pins and uh, restore it. I've never done it, so this is some kind of project I'm wanted to learn to start with. Um, we have another one here. Um, Seve Hellestrand, these two. It's number two. This one was Seve Hellestrand number two. This is Seve Hellestrand number two. <laughs> uh, and the scholar is actually not broken, this one. There's some kind of changing colors here but uh, it's a little bit rusty as you can see here I think I can polish it up and uh, grind it away and polish it up and then hone the razor <coughs> and see what I can do about the scholars here uh, I think it's fun to have old races uh, I've already had a couple of Civil Hellison races and uh, I just love them very much. And this is CV Helsan number two, the third one, with a broken scholar. Uh, as I said, it's not so rusty these blades, but there's always a possibility to change these scholars. Uh, I just have to buy some uh, some uh, pins and uh, washers to uh, try to change them or do my own uh, scholars so I got three uh, races that I actually can uh, restore and uh, this one is another one uh, racer and uh, this got a lot of patina and it's shipped as hell so this one I can't use, but I think I can use these colors. They are actually pretty nice colors. So um, I can use these colors on another racer. And this is Seve uh, Hellestrand number two, this one too. Uh, I think they are really beautiful races. Uh, it's quality steel on these Swedish races, so I just love them. And there was another one, another racer too, that is, was this one, Seve Hellestrand number 31. I got already one, that one, I think one or two. Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, but the scholar is broken at this one, so I, uh, my thought was that I could use this scholar on that really, really broken uh, razor on this razor, but um, this is a little bit longer, so I can't use it, so I can use it on the other razors. But this CV Hellestrand I have uh, already taken apart and I this one I maybe could salvage this side of the scholar. Uh, the other one is broken and yeah. Maybe sometimes I can find another scholar like this and I can um, pair them together. I don't know, we shall see. <coughs> but this one I have uh, already started to polish up 
uh, there was a lot of rust in here not on the edge but here on the spine so I have <coughs> grinded it with fine sandpaper and polished it up with the polishing yeah, polish it up <laughs> uh, so I think this is a real beauty uh, Mkuhel is done number 31 I love these races it's a 5'8 racer with this French point they had knocked off, up, knocked off the heel on the, that one and uh, this grip here uh, when you hold the razor it feels really nice for your finger just put the finger out there and it feels really really steady when you shave so um, I like this it's a real real beauty um, so this one I have al already started to uh, polish and restore uh, I think the finish is fine for me so I don't think I'm gonna do so much more with it but I have to uh, of course hone it up because they are not sharp there is an edge but not a very good edge and little small 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 ships I don't know if it uh, doesn't matter you can see it but uh, I think I can uh, hone these small small ships on the edge and get it really nice and my thought was that I could do new scholars and I've started to do new scholars this is not ready yet it's uh, too big I have to wind it uh, much more and uh, but it's something to start with this is a walnut tree uh, as you see it's a little bit a little bit too big uh, at the moment uh, it's thick and everything but I have to polish it more and I think it's gonna be a real beautiful uh, racer with this I slim it down more here and do it much much thinner here uh, so I think this will be could be a really nice uh, scholar for this I just have to buy some uh, pins and uh, <coughs> washers to get it fixed but I have to grind this I started it a couple of days ago two days ago and um, it's a fun project so uh, new skills I'm learning so I got what I got here uh, one nice color that I can use I got four I'll take like four nice one two three and four nice that I actually can restore the blades and uh, then just change the scholars that was the one thing that I bought from the auction and today my wife and my daughter we went to a flea market and uh, I found some more shaving relative things <laughs> uh, this uh, old uh, strop um, it's working it's no problem with the everything works okay with it they just have to be polished and uh, refine these uh, uh, ah, everything here <laughs> maybe grind this a little bit and get a new uh, polish and a uh, new color color no painting on it and change this uh, original uh, skin here so I uh, think this is a a little bit of art <laughs> I think it's really fun maybe I can use it maybe I can't but I will uh, restore it I think and uh, get it uh, really nice that's the thing I bought and um, I bought another razor vintage razor from the flea market it's a really nasty one I haven't cleaned it and I haven't done anything about it and just uh, took it home uh, I got an ultrasonic wash thing device that you are. <laughs> and uh, I thought I could uh, restore this one and uh, not restore but clean it up and see if it, everything works really really fine the screwing here and everything works really really nice and there is no hicks or nothing at all it just uh, works really really fine and there was an blade in it uh, 
center, old center blade. Uh, of course, I'm gonna toss it and throw it away. Not so clean here, but I think with a toothbrush, some uh, ultrasonic wash, and uh, some other things, it would be really nice to get this fixed. I don't know anything about this razor. There is, I can't. Maybe there is some stamps here, but that is so dirty yet right now. So I don't. Uh, I thought I could show you f first. Uh, if anyone knows anything about this razor, just uh, please comment and give me some information. Uh, as I said, I don't have no clue at all what it is a kind of razor, but it works. The mechanics works really, really nice. There is nothing wrong at all. Really nice. I thought I could clean it up and uh, see how clean it will be and then disinfect it and maybe use it someday. Uh, and the last, last thing I found today at the flea market was this, uh, see, uh, like this one. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's a chick, chick razor. I think it's from the 50, uh, 60s or 70s. I'm not sure. This chick here on the I think I can hold it like this. This someone there or that is said chic. Uh, and this chrome uh, knob here and the black uh, black end that is just, that is just, uh, says chic. Uh, I thought this was a real beauty, so I think it's plastic and the mechanic and this one as well works really really fine. No problem at all, no hicks, nothing at all. Just have to clean it up and a couple of drops of oil and you get a really nice razor. No bumps, of course dirty, but I think I can clean it up. And uh, there was blade in it and I just before I start to film I took out this blade and looked at it and suddenly we have a three bladed chick. <laughs> there was three blades. Uh, oh, sorry, there was one uh, century blade, Sweden steel, and two chick blades. Uh, of course, I'm gonna throw these away so I don't get any diseases. <laughs> but uh, it's real beauty. Nothing wrong with these razors. I just have to clean them up and. Uh, and uh, this effect of pure uh, okay and uh, then use them uh, these two races and this one I gave uh, twenty dollars for so it's vintage stuffs maybe too much I don't know I'm just very curious about this racer uh, I think it's a beautiful racer uh, nice to hold on a little bit heavier than this one uh, but this have a slant or whatever you call it, coned uh, handle uh, with this nice uh, combed uh, knob on. Uh, just love this one, uh, this one too. <laughs> okay, that was the uh, video of the day and i going to start to polish this one up and see how far I get with it today. And, uh, I hope you all gonna have a really really beautiful uh, weekend. I have uh, just uh, been taking a power nap for one and a half two hours because last night I was uh, on a gig and we had a really fun gig and we was home about three uh, three o'clock this time. So I was a little bit tired today. Okay, thank you everyone. Every. Everybody and have a really great weekend. Bye bye.